Well, welcome back again. Hey, I found another early uh, home movie shot by my grandfather, Peter Cormack. This one, I believe, was shot in the, the end of 1930. I, I believe this was shot the same day as an earlier film I shared uh, where they uh, uh, were showing the Rim of the World Bowl. They, uh, I think it was just getting ready to open up. Now, this might be Seeley Creek. I'm not sure, but you'll see why I say that in a minute. Now, I want to give you a little disclaimer right here. Uh, I am not exactly sure where this is. I'm, I'm making some assumptions and uh, making, using my deductive reasoning to figure this out. But, but please, someone up there in Crestline, let me know uh, uh, what you think about my, my guesses here. Now, again, I think this is up uh, towards uh, Camp Seeley. Now, this shot right here, I believe, might be Camp Seeley. Now, my grandfather was hired in 1926 to manage Camp Seeley. Now, Camp Seeley was opened in uh, 1914 as part of a new municipal recreation program. And uh, this is, again, I say 1930, my grandfather may have still had that position managing the camp, and this may be uh, uh, images of the camp itself. And again, those of you that are more familiar with uh, the area up there, maybe you can you can let me know if I'm right or wrong. Um, I don't know. It maybe uh, the rim of the World Bowl was built somewhere near uh, Camp Seely. Uh, this may be uh, one of the more open meadows. Maybe it's uh, Seely Flats, or, or I'm not sure. Uh, now, right there, I believe that is a a. Uh, orchard. Uh, it looks like the trees are deciduous, they've lost their leaves, but I think those are fruit trees. Now if you look at this scene coming up right here, you see uh, some vehicles. They all look around the 30s. There's a beautiful car. Someone's got a lot of money. Uh, another nice car right there. Now that looks like a swimming pool to me. Uh, I'm not sure, but if it is, that might make sense. It's at Camp Seely. I can't ama imagine making a reservoir like that. Again, there is a uh, fruit orchard. And you see my, my grandfather is going to try and uh, get a seasick again, taking a uh, panoramic <laughs> shot of, of the forest. It looks like they've got a little high vantage point this time. Now, again, one of the reasons why I think possibly uh, Rim of the World Bowl is, look, there we go, that, that fence you see right there, that is part of the Rim of the World Bowl. I recognize the, uh, the architectural design. Well, let me know if I'm right or wrong. Uh, I have no idea. All right. Well, thanks for watching again. Aloha.